A groundbreaking in downtown St. Louis today to honor black history. The Freedom Suits Memorial will honor enslaved people in Missouri in the 19th century. Fox 2's Patrick Clark joins us where the mayor took part in this freedom groundbreaking. It's a project that has been years in the making. Today they broke ground on the new Freedom Suits Memorial coming to this plaza here at the Civil Courts Building. With former mayors Slay and Cruson in attendance outside the Civil Courts Building, Mayor Tashara Jones, along with Circuit Judge David C. Mason, President of the St. Louis Chapter of the NAACP, Adolphus Pruitt, and the Freedom Suits Steering Committee gathered for a groundbreaking. In the mid-1990s, a circuit clerk discovered hundreds of files lost in a basement. These files were the hidden stories of hundreds of enslaved black people who went to our courts to sue for their freedom in the 57 years before the Civil War. This Freedom Suit Memorial would stand as a reminder, and in most cases as a tribute, to a time in history, that snapshot in time in St. Louis, where fairness, equity, and justice was possible for the enslaved. In the 1800s, Missouri Territory Courts allowed black people held as slaves to sue for their freedom. The lawsuits were later termed freedom suits. The most famous case originated in the St. Louis Circuit Court system when Dredd and Harriet Scott sued for their freedom. The Freedom Suits Memorial will recognize and honor the roughly 400 enslaved people who petitioned Missouri courts for their freedom. When I took a look at the Freedom Suits and what they were about after we discovered them, I realized instantly, as a black man, as a slave descendant, just fouling these suits took some serious guts. Sculptor Preston Jackson was chosen as the artist for the memorial on the Eastern Plaza of the Civil Courts building. That new Freedom Suits Memorial coming to downtown is expected to be completed by the fall. It'll stand about 20 feet tall right here in the Civil Courts Plaza. In downtown St. Louis, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.